Hello guys, welcome to my channel. On your Windows 11 computer, if you are unable to download or install this update that is KB5017497, then please follow the steps shown in this video. So the first step is to run update troubleshooter. For this, go to the start menu, then click on settings. Go to system. Now click on troubleshoot. Now click on other troubleshooters. Now click on Windows. Over here you can see Windows update, click on run. And once the troubleshoot is complete, restart your computer. And after the system restart, update your Windows 11 once again. Next step is to restart Windows update and background intelligent transfer service. For this type in services in Windows search box and then click on services. Now find Windows update in the list at the end here you can see Windows update. Make a double click on Windows update. Set it to automatic. Click on apply. Click on start if highlighted and then click on OK with Windows update selected over here. Click on restart the service. Now find background intelligent transfer service. Make a double click. Set it to automatic. Click on apply. Click on start if highlighted. And then click on OK. With this selected, now click on restart the service or start the service. So with this selected, click on restart the service. Now once done, restart your computer and then update your Windows 11 once again. So after this, restart your computer and then update your Windows 11. Next step is to Use Windows 11 installation assistant. Copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. Over here you will see Windows 11 installation assistant. Click on download now. Now run this exe file. Click on yes to allow. It will load Windows 11 installation assistant and you will see option to accept and install. So click on accept and install. Now, if Windows 11 installation assistant is not opening, in that case, you can go to download location and then make a right click on Windows 11 installation assistant, then click on properties, go to compatibility tab and then put a check on the box which says run this program in compatibility mode for select Windows 7 from the list, click on apply, click on OK. Now make a double click and launch Windows 11 installation assistant. Next step is to use Microsoft Update Catalog. For this, copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft Update Catalog website and whichever update is giving you the error message. So you can write down the name of the update that is KB5017497. Write it over here and then click on search. Now over here, you can see this is the, I have X64 base system. So this is the right one. Click on download. Now click on this hyperlink for Windows 11. Click on it. Click on Windows 11 and then run this exe file and restart your computer and you, you should have this update installed. Now still you are unable to install in that case reset Windows update components for this copy all these commands. These commands are provided in the video description. So copy the command till here. Till here. Now open notepad on your computer and then paste all the command in notepad. Now go to file then click on save as set the location as desktop. Name this file as wufix.bat. So over here you can type in wufix.bat for save as type select all files. Now click on save. Click on now go to desktop over here you can see wufix file make a right click then click on run as administrator make sure that you're opening this file as an administrator click on yes to allow this will open command prompt first of all it will stop all the windows update services and then it will run some scans now there are a couple of scans so the scan will take some time so once the scan is complete once all the scans are 100 percent complete it will restart all the Windows update services and then restart your computer and then update your Windows 11 once again. Now, if nothing is working, the last step is to use media creation tool. So you can use this media creation tool to upgrade, upgrade or update your Windows 11. Go to this website. Here also you will find media creation tool. Click on download now and then 
run this exe file. Click on yes to allow. Now this will load Windows 11 media creation tool. Now click on accept. By default, Windows 11 would be selected. Click on next. Select ISO file, then click on next. You can save the location. You can set the location as desktop and then click on save over here. Now, once the download is complete, click on finish and then go to desktop, find Windows ISO file. Make a double click on Windows ISO file. Then run the setup file, make a double click on setup file. Click on yes to allow. This will load Windows 11 now. And here you can see install Windows 11. Click on next. It will check for update. Then click on accept. Again, it will check for update. Now, before the installation, you will see the screen which says ready to install. And by default, the option to keep personal files and app would be checked. When this is checked, you will not lose any data on the computer. Click on install. After the installation, log into your computer. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you're unable to install this update that is .NET Framework 3.5, 4.8, 4.9.